Good morning, it is just before 6am and we are just about to drive down to the NAF Five Star International Festival of Dressage. We're going to go and meet Anna Miller and Jemima who are both riding there. Alex Harrison is riding there too. Liv who owns Half Halt. Um, her fiancé Lewis Carrier is riding. A few people. I'm very, very excited. I am going to save you the approximate three hour drive and I will meet you when we're there. We have arrived three hours later. Outdoor arena, shops up there. There's so many more arenas, it is wild. I'm just on my way to get my camera, some coffee, and then we're gonna watch Jemima and Oki do their test. So as I mentioned, I'm here really to see Anna Miller and Jemima Green. Anna is a coach, Jemima is a rider, and I manage both of their social medias, so I was here to watch them. I got here at about 9am and sod's law, Jemima's first test was at 8.30, so I missed that. But I did get over to the warm-up just in time to see Sophie Christensen go into her first test, which is what you can see here now. So this is Anna and Sophie walking out of the arena together and what you'll see in a minute is because this is an FEI run event, a steward checks the horse over after every single test. So here we have Anna who is a coach warming up Oki. She is allowed to warm up Jemima's horse because Jemima is a grade two para rider. So she warms up and makes sure the horse is soft, supple and safe and then Jemima gets on. Just before the test, everybody takes their boots off. So boots are not allowed in dressage tests um, and if you wear them, you get eliminated. So just before Jemima goes in, everybody takes Oki's boots off. I managed to accidentally not film Jemima's test, so unfortunately here is a nice arena instead. <laughs> I did however manage to catch a little bit of Lee, Pearson and Breeza. Lee is a 14 time Paralympic gold medalist. He has competed at Sydney, Athens, Beijing, London, Rio and Tokyo, so it was pretty special to watch him and his horse here. Having a little coffee break and a shopping break the afternoon classes but this is a sort of row of shops behind me you've got the international arenas where people are competing and then just down there you have all of the warm-ups so there's a lot going on there's also a couple of indoor arenas that you can't see from here but actually it's that building I think if I'm pointing the right direction yeah so there's a lot going on tell me you're at a dressage competition without telling me you're at a dressage competition managed to sneak away for a little bit to watch Alex Harrison. So this is the warm-up arena. As you can see, there's quite a lot going on. And I actually feel as a sort of lower level rider that you can learn so much from watching these riders in their warm-ups and you can completely understand why so many top level riders say, have a warm-up routine, do the same warm-up you would do at home as you would in the test, because there's so many other things going on, it would be really easy to let your nerves get the best of you and um, and then mess up your warm-up. So this was a real privilege to watch Alex and all the other riders do their warm-ups here. Shameless plug, if you haven't watched my interview with Alex Harrison at the Scenic Supper in the Cotswolds, it's a really good one. We sit down over cocktails and he tells me all about his horses, his riding, his professional career and everything in between. Okay, I'm done, let's move on. I wanna show you a video I shot for the Horse and Country TikTok, which I manage, which was speaking to Jemima Green's groom about what she keeps in her show backpack. Let's show you that now. Hey Millie. You are the groom for Jemima Green, who is competing here today. Now we always see grooms with these amazing backpacks. Can you show us what is in your magic backpack? So this is a Cairo Chaps backpack, so it's got like an ice cool bit in the back. So we've got ice boots, so they go directly on horses once they finish the test. And then in the middle, I've got exercise boots that they wear in the warm-up, um, some last minute hoof oil, towels, <laughs> I get really gross legs and then in the front I've got my emergency packet and hot cloth in case I get really grubby. Love it, thank you so much. No worries. And here are the stay away stables. So firstly we have Rocco who is getting a little bit of physio. Rocco as you'll remember is ridden by Sophie Christensen. Then we have Oki who is ridden by Jemima who's just having a little bit of downtime after his test. And then finally, we have Danity, who is also ridden by Jemima, hanging out here. So we've just been visiting Jemima and her horses, and this is the yard. There are so many stables. I'm just about to go and find out what room I'm staying in for the night, because I have no idea. 
and then gonna watch a few more people ride including Charlotte de Jardin. Very excited! This is my room for the night. I'm staying at Hartbury so because Hartbury is a university they have rooms and you can book them. So I'm staying here and then we'll be back for day two of competition tomorrow. Very exciting. We're just here hand grazing. This is Rocco who's ridden by Sophie Christiansen. Oki is over there with Millie who's ridden by Jemima. And then Anna is over there with Danity <laughs> who's ridden by Jemima as well. Just having a little bit of downtime before we watch some more tests. I also had the pleasure of interviewing Natasha Baker earlier, so I will show you that clip now. Hi, Natasha. Hi. Thank you for joining us for this little interview. Thanks for having me. What's it like being back at Hartbury this week? I absolutely love this show. I mean, the sun's shining. Um, it's just such a lovely place to be and great shopping too. You've had some really great results this week. Have you got any top moments from your tests? Um, so I had a bit of an interesting day yesterday. I've had a chest infection for the last three weeks um, and I thought that I was better. Um, but turns out breathing is quite essential to riding and life in general. Um, so I had to ha actually have the paramedics out after oh my no. ride yesterday, which was highly embarrassing. Um, so I've had to withdraw from the rest of the competition, which is really upsetting. But I got through the test yesterday. Um, I still had a win, which was remarkable given the circumstances circumstances um, and I had much better halts which I was pleased with and made improvements in my leg yields which I was very happy with so we always take the positives. <laughs> Every cloud has a silver lining. Definitely. And a massive congratulations team. Thank you. Now cheesy chips seem to be the equestrian vice of choice <laughs> at shows like this. Do you have a guilty pleasure when it comes to competitions? Um, well, it depends on the show, but right now there is an ice cream van literally just there and I look forward to an ice cream every single year sitting on this hill at Hartbury. So I would say that this show, ice cream is my guilty pleasure. You heard it here first everyone. If you're at Hartbury, go for the ice cream. 100% strawberry top recommendation. <laughs> Thanks Natasha. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, confession, I completely missed Charlotte de Jardin's test. I don't know what I was doing. Time is like a vortex at these competitions, but I did get to watch Alex Harrison on his second ride of the day, MSJ Top Secret, and they made a really beautiful picture. So it was a real privilege to watch this. <laughs> Just finished having dinner and drinks with Anna and everyone. All the lorries are quiet. I'm just heading off to bed. I'm a bit nervous that there's going to be like nobody in my building. But I'm, safe. I'm back home. I am editing the video that you are watching right now. And I'm going to Barbary this weekend with Horse and Country. I'll be vlogging for their YouTube channel. So make sure that you check it out. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.